All right, everyone. Good morning. I actually woke up around 6, 7 a.m. Of course, it's hard to do the silent prayer because my mind just goes berserk. You know, it's um, like Jesse Lee Peterson says, the ego doesn't want to die. So, <laughs> you know, it might take years to get rid of this clown, you know, but, you know, that's how it goes. At least I'm on the right path. So yeah, that's really all that matters. So it's been like 11 million years since I've done like a Tomb Fork, because obviously they just simply don't work. Even Tomb Finance itself is like still struggling. It's still around apparently, but still struggling, right? I mean, it's already like 66% below the price of Phantom, I think, right? Uh, let me check real quick. Yeah, Tomb is 13.33 cents, right? T tomb shares is like 418 bucks, right? So it's like really, uh, it's it's not so great. But with that being said, I mean, there's really not much to cover today. So the only thing I've seen is this from Murdoch DeFi, right? America Money's a uh, new America reload, reloaded kind of thing. So it's been a long time since I've done one of these. All right, so this is the farm. This is the uh, boardroom, which of course I have to log into my domain MetaMask. Okay, switch networks, uh, connect, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll do this. All right, there's the farms. Now, the only thing that's actually different about this is supposedly the nodes. So we want to take a look at that. Then we have Liberty Chart and of course Constitution. Ah, very good. All right. So, since it's been like a million years since I've done this, I guess I'll have to make sure I repeat everything. Um, so usually in a tomb fork, I look for something called uh, the smart APR system. That's what I call it. All right. Uh, the guy who actually runs runs this project, which is America Money uh, project, is uh, run by a. Uh, I assume a rich bill, uh, millionaire, at least. His name is Brando, right? Let's go Brando, right? I assume he's a right-wing guy like, you know, me or something, but has more, has way more money, right? So hopefully he has more money. So he actually runs this uh, whole project. I assume, like, you know, like usual, Tomb Forks are just having trouble, you know, staying sustainable or whatever. So I haven't done Tomb Forks in, like, months now. It feels like months. So I don't even know what the state of, I mean, I guess we could check. America money. It's not even in my thing in anymore. Uh, connect. Oh, this is not good. If this is the actual, oh, that's really bad. It's down to 2370. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, his project unfortunately failed. That's really bad. Yeah, I mean, I left, uh, yeah, I left Tomb Forks right at the, right at the good start. I mean, even Titano itself isn't doing well. I mean, a lot of sh a lot of shit's just going down, right? And I actually spent this morning just looking at crypto prices, the bond markets, and of course the stock markets. Right? There's a bit of a fear trade going on. In fact, it seems to be getting worse. Ah, oh, God, maybe I do need to buy some, put some spider today. Yeah, so the, the point is, crypto is just so out of style right now. And it's pretty obvious that we're back into, like, you know how Bitcoin would always have a four-year cycle? It would go up a lot and then down, like, you know, basically a year after Bitcoin halves and everything goes up. And then it comes crashing down. And then crypto winter sets in for, like, you know, basically the next four years until after Bitcoin halves again. I basically made the decision, uh, conclusion that that basically is what happened with crypto, <clears throat> all right? In addition to the manipulation, there's just no appetite for crypto. So it's, it's like, like you can dump all your crypto now and then you just come back and buy it later, all right? That, that, that's probably something you could actually do because this is just ridiculous. Now, with that being said, you know, when you do that, then you know all of a sudden the, the crypto just goes back up because, again, of manipulation. So it's not ex so I wouldn't exactly be stacking crypto. Funny enough, I'd be stacking stocks instead. All right, you know, but you have to buy. You have to actually buy the stock, or at least what I'm trying to experiment with, which is buying calls. 
on spider, right? S P Y, because you can't manipulate spider. Because in order to manipulate spider, you gotta manipulate S and P futures, which means well, you have to you have to literally manipulate all three, four, five thousand stocks in the entire stock market exchange. Uh, good luck with that. All right. There's only one entity again that can do that, which is the Federal Reserve. And right now they're actually unwinding their balance sheet a little bit and also lowering their money supply. All right. Let me just do that. It's actually lowering. They haven't come up with this with last with May's numbers yet, so I actually want to look at that when it comes out. All right, so because so with all of that in mind, I mean, again, crypto and of course tomb forks are just you know, like no one just no one wants to deal with this. No one wants to deal with it, unfortunately. And I like the brand. I like Let's Go Brando guy. He's a pretty nice guy. But I mean, again, I can't wave a magic wand and make tomb forks work right now. So anyway, um, so that was you know we did a little detour there, but basically I looked for something called a smart APR system. Uh, Brando actually figured it out a long time ago. He just never told anyone. I on the, I on the other hand did when I was covering Tomb Forks. So again, I assume he will be using the smart APR system here. Uh, okay, whatever. I doubt anyone really. I mean, part of the problem is you have to find, figure out a way to code it so that people have to follow the strategy. And it just doesn't work, you know. All right, so I'm gonna have to do this manually, won't I? This is the Genesis pool. Okay, so you have a daily APR on the base pair, three percent, and the other one's ten percent. Um, I don't really feel like reading their documentations page, so I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. All right, so TVL is 81,000, 50,000. So let me think. So this would be 6% at half. Huh. So he's actually giving more share rewards. So he's actually breaking from this smart APR system. That's actually interesting. Well, I mean, I guess if Tomb Forks are failing in general, then I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, great. Of course, this thing is cut off. It says current epoch 44 when I highlight it and do right click. So it says search Google for whatever the text I highlighted. So they're up to that. Okay. All right. So for some reason, he decided to go off of it. Now, that being said, he does have something like this, which is lock your Liberty LP to earn daily. Hmm. All right, so Murdoch DeFi, he just said something about node staking, which is basically just this, so. I mean, I honestly just don't see how this is any different from this, because this is the exact same, well, let me think. I'm more, I guess we're going to have to read the documentations, but I really don't feel like doing any work today, because literally nothing's... All right, here we go. Node specifics, 50 liberty cost per node... Unlimited nodes per account, you earn one and a half to three percent daily liberty rewards. Paid tapering figure returns are based on node pull bounds and not guaranteed. Hmm. Excuse me. Up to a max of five hundred percent ROI in each node. However, like any investment, it's not po it's not possible to guarantee it. Of course. Each node created weekly also gives you one entry to a Liberty Prize sent to a random account. More entries, more chance to win. 20% of the node pool will be distributed to the NFT holders monthly, including future node pools. Uh, okay, Validator. Da, 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 da. Liberty are not transaction validator. However, they felt kind of rewarding lock or Liberty rewards for their efforts. Users deposit Liberty to purchase a node, which in turn deposits a portion of that into a reward pool. Um, I'm just reading it silently so I can read this faster. Okay, so I actually don't see what the point of this thing is. Like, the, these things... Uh, <laughs> okay, it says view. This takes me to here. Okay, so this is the real... Yeah, I was like wondering, where do I deposit this? 
there's 120 nodes, and then yeah, there's not a lot of TVO, because, yeah, because people are like, what's the point of these? I mean, you're, already, you're just better off doing this, and then you can unlock it any time, I think. Um... I don't know. It's actually kind of confusing what this thing does. It just doesn't seem to do anything. It just kind of seems like you just... I guess it's like a comp an overly complicated version of the yield staker. Except you're yield staking off a liquidity pool instead of just a single token. So in this case it would be Liberty US Dollar Circle. Okay, so I think that's what it is. But how do you get your money? How does this... Um... And it says there's a 50 Liberty cost, so how would that work? Yeah, I don't actually know how this works because let's say I buy, let's say I create my Liberty USD CLP, right? So I could, you know, do some farming over here. So do I need like 50 Liberty tokens in my wallet to pay this cost of deposit? I, I guess that's what it is. Um, and then the, and then there's a promise that I'll get up to, you know, five times my return. And I don't think there's a thing where you can remove this either. So once you put it in, I mean, that's it. It just doesn't leave. Uh, okay. I mean, the thing's just a little too confusing. And not surprisingly, other people think the same way, and it's like six grand. So, yeah. Um, well, with that being said, I mean, Brandon's obviously trying really hard, so... Hey, you know, no complaints for me, but again, I, I just don't do two forks anymore. They're like, they're just so out of style. Like, in, in fact, crypto is basically out of style, which actually makes me very unhappy to say, right? Especially since this is a cryptocurrency channel. But I mean, the show must go on, you know, there's still money to be made in crypto uh, and you just simply have to just, you know, pull profits, right? I mean, that's really, the, that's all you can do. In fact, um... BNB miner, crops farmer, and BUSD uh, yield staker, those are still the best for me, right? Because they're sustainable and it's just fixed, right? You know, especially BNB miner and yield farmer, uh, yield crops yield farmer, right? You know, with the BUSD fixed return, right, for X amount of days. Like, I mean, that's just uh, that's the only way you can win, you know? Yeah. All right. So anyway, uh, there's not really much to say. I mean, again, I don't even know if people are still doing Tomb Forks, you know, I guess. You know, but with that being said, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see if uh, Brandon can, uh, you know, keep this one going. But, I mean, he's got he's got a very tough job. I mean, he's, just, he's a very tough job. So, But at least he's paired himself to the U.S. dollar. So that's actually going to be very stable. Mm, thing is, wasn't that the last one? Yeah, he did the lot. He did the same with the last one too. I don't know, man. Tomb forks are just difficult. They're just too difficult. All right. Anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, read, or heard, oh my God, that's like the really old outro. It's like you know, you know. So like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again, to all the old and new people uh, watching this video. Uh, unfortunately, there's just not a lot going on in crypto. And I actually looked at the uh, stock videos, that, the two trial episode, uh, videos I did yesterday. They did okay, but not surprisingly, the the stats were much lower than normal. So I'm kind of wondering if that actually is going to damage my channel if like half my videos out, uh, you know, drag down my crypto videos. You know, so it's like eh, I don't know, I don't know. So I think for now I'll hold off on the stock stuff. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'll think about it, you know, because, like, you know, there's another news story I could do. Like, Target cuts its price profit, you know, or price target or whatever, and that's causing people to, like, dump their stocks or whatever a little bit. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. But uh, either way, I don't know when I'll see you next because, again, there's just not a lot of crypto projects, like, at all, right? So... It's like, all right, well, you know, you know, crypto winter again. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. All right. But, hey, I mean, that's just how it goes. But in brighter news, I mean, the Bitcoin bill that Loomis is uh, introducing in the Senate is actually pretty good. 
tax-free Bitcoin transactions up to 200 bucks. So basically you can launder all your money legally. Um, and then number two, uh, yeah, even no one's even paying attention to this shit. How is it? Yeah, see, look there. How is there an engagement here and then nothing shows? Like, this is why I just hate Twitter so much. And then, I don't know. I don't care about self-custody. You could always self-custody, but hey, anything. This is the important part. The U.S. Senate is going to regulate Bitcoin as a commodity under the CFTC, not the pieces of shit in uh, the SEC. This is actually really important. So hopefully that will actually go through, all right? Because at this point, I mean, you know, you know, if everything's gonna go to hell, you know, the 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 globalists, you know, they need some kind of way out, right? You know, and they would rather have crypto than gold and silver, or at least that's the hope. So, you know, they they have they can't just pillory, you know, crypto completely, especially since you know their donors like J.P. Morgan, the big banks, you know, they're manipulating cryptocurrencies. So, you know, they gotta make it easier for themselves too. So we'll see how it plays out. It's looking pretty good so far, fundamentally. Technical wise, of course, I mean, who knows when the hell these stupid markets will start ticking off again. I mean, it might be just be forever. It might actually just be flat for the rest of the year. That's just going to annoy me so much. So anyway, I'll see you whenever. Um, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess we'll see. I mean, I really kind of want to do the stock video, to be honest, but I can't have it damage this the crypto content on this channel, which means I may have to like create like you know, a separate YouTube channel just for stocks, that would probably be the best thing to do. Uh, which means swapping back and forth. I don't know. I guess I'll, I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, we'll see you. I'll see you next time, hopefully tomorrow. But if not, just whenever there's a crypto project and, um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day or night and yeah, check out America money reloaded, you know, um, I mean, I don't know. Does anyone even still do tune forks <laughs> anymore? Uh, I guess we'll see.